The effect of animation into architectural videos or fly through is to emphasize the function of your project and to make clients relate more with your presentations. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate animation techniques using Samuel Beckett Bridge in Dublin. This is designed by Santiago Calatrava. Without any further ado, let's jump straight into it. The first step, let's separate project components and then export them independently. This will give us a platform to animate each component without affecting the other, unless they share the same value or function. As file savers, make sure the format is Collada. Then it's a bridge, bridge structure, save. Then let's go to the site civil and do the same. Make sure the format is Collada, save. Step two, import into Lumion. Each component has to have a layer that is assigned to. So let's create layers to represent the components. I'll start first with the site civil as the main component. Then the second layer will be the bridge structure. Yeah. Third, I have a boom gate by the, the entrance of the bridge. Boom gate structure. And then I have last layer which is the boom gate bar that is going to be animated as well and then let's activate the site civil layer and then hit import to bring in the site civil model then open wait a bit then modify the file name if you have this problem place it there Activate the bridge structure layer, go to import, then let's bring the, the bridge model. Also modify the name if it gives you this problem. And then place it there. Go to select, from there select all the, all the models, then go to align positions. It will clip everything together, and then you can check by rotating, oh sorry undo it let's check one component to make sure it's independently um, been placed perfect this is the basis of our animations let's move forward and um, the next step is texturing application of materials to all surfaces is key to visualization of the project make sure all surfaces material are attached accordingly to the lighting environment depending on the theme you want to achieve as a result. So in this case, I'm gonna go ahead and speed up the whole process of attaching material. If you're interested in going forward also, you can skip this part.
In this stage, if you look at the edges of the river where water line is, it doesn't represent a real world. Normally you have a muddy surface around the edge of the water. What I'll do, I'll go to landscape and then pick the paintbrush. Let's find the texture that will represent the mud. Edit type, then find something like, uh, okay, let's pick the farmland. Oh, sorry. Undo. And then adjust the size of the, the brush. Maybe something like 2.6 in this case. And then paint around like so. Let's increase, let's adjust the size, the speed of the brush to have a good feedback. And then you paint on the edges just like this. Make sure it doesn't, make sure you, you are inconsistent in terms of the, the painting to give it more realism. Just do that, just do that, yeah. And then I'll go ahead and um, finish the remaining parts. We came to the last stage of our tutorial. For us to animate object in Lumion, we need a frame or a clip to add animation effects. In this case, we're gonna use advanced move effects to do our animations. So let's go ahead and create a, a clip. I'll use this view and then change the uh, frame size to 25 seconds. In upper version is easy, you can just key in the value there. In this, I have to use arrows like this. Perfect. Okay. Then let's go to effects. Advanced move effects. And then edit. It gives us a platform to keyframe the rotation, um, scaling, the path for animation of these objects. So we're going to start first with the rotation of the bridge. Click on the bridge and then drag the path to the midpoint and then let's rotate this to there and then let's bring it back to where we want the rotation to start and then bring the bridge back by rotating to the position and then if you play it that's the starting point of the rotation or the animation of which is perfect let's do to the next object let's go to the boom gate um, there we go. Select the bar first to clear up the keyframe. There we go. And then drag the path where you want the animation to end. And then we're going to use the rotation of pitch. I'm not sure. Oh, no. It's the rotation bank. And 
there we go we're gonna rotate it to the last position where the animation will end and then let's bring it back the path where we want to start the animation and then rotate it back to the position like so perfect pretty simple there we go and obviously it has to be keyframe before the animation of the bridge if the sequence has to be very perfect we need to stop first the uh, the car and then that's when the bridge can rotate perfect now let's move on to the animation of the of the boat let's drag the path towards the end there there we go towards the end and then let's drag it to where we want it to end and then bring it back where we want it to start moving and somewhere here and then you can now drop it back that way to add a keyframe and then if you play it perfect there we go oh it's crashing on the bridge let's adjust that let's delete the end point and the end frame and then we'll rekey and again move it there to add a, a key way to end and then play it again make sure it doesn't crash this time around it passes smoothly thank you guys for your attention i hope i'll see you in the next video if you're new to this channel make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell for more videos like this one Thank you. Happy New Year.